Hello. Well, this is a question that came up on an Olympus uh, OMD forum this morning. So I responded on the forum, but I, uh, as did others, and I thought I'd just uh, use it as the basis for a, a little post. Uh, so the question um, was, uh, I just bought my first mirrorless camera, an OMD um, EM5 Mark II body only. Now, as a beginner, what should be my first lens purchase? <clears throat> And then the poster goes on to say, my main usage would be taking portraits and for travel. I know that doesn't help much. Um, I was told standard is 50 millimeter and best for portrait is 75 millimeter. Well, yes and no. Um, you bought a micro four-third sensor uh, camera. That's a, a crop sensor with a multiplier of times two. The 50 millimeter standard, something in that range has been considered um, the standard for, um, well, as far back as, as 35 millimeter film. And, uh, and it's kind of the, uh, um, what the eye would normally see, at least that's, uh, that's sort of how it's defined. Um, now that 50 millimeters applies to a full frame camera or a 35 millimeter film camera. Uh, on a, a, a micro four thirds camera, since the um, the crop factor is times two, you divide that in half. So in other words, if I were buying a standard lens for a, a micro four thirds camera, I would take that 50, cut it in half, something around the 25 range. 25 millimeters is uh, is probably what you would consider standard. Uh, Typically, the most popular portrait lenses on, on SLRs, 35 millimeter cameras, is, is the 85 millimeter. Uh, that's certainly true for Canon, Nikon. Um, so from the Olympus range, there's a, a beautiful little 45 millimeter lens. So 45 times 2 would be 90. So that's the range. Uh, so that's probably the closest micro four-thirds format lens in, in the typical portrait range. But these focal lengths aren't cast in stone. Individual photographers are, are going to have their own style and their, their own preference. So very generally speaking, a wide angle lens would be anything below about 35 millimeters converted to micro four thirds, 17 millimeters. Uh, a standard lens would be around that, that 50 millimeter or 25 on a micro four thirds. And a portrait lens would be somewhere in the 85 to 150 millimeter range, uh, which on a micro four thirds would be 45 to 75 millimeter range. Um, you might say, well, what's the difference between a 45 and a 75? And it's, it's probably how far the wall is from the subject. Uh, I, can, uh, I can take a head and shoulder shot with the 45 millimeter, um, but if I want to sand in the same place and take it with a 75, I'm probably going to get the top of, I'm going to get all my hair. <laughs> uh, so the longer the focal length, the further back from the subject you would, you would tend to stand in order to get the same amount of image uh, on the screen. But I guess one thing I would say, that any advice that you get uh, from other photographers is filtered through their own experiences, their style, and their preferences. So you should try and test any lens before you buy it. Um, a lot of local camera stores, if there are still any left in your area, have rental programs. And certainly there are several online sources where you can rent a, excuse me, rent a lens or even a camera body for a few days and, uh, and try it out. See if it fits your needs. Uh, because what fits my needs may not be the, the right choice for you. Um, they're not tremendously expensive, and certainly compared to the cost of buying the wrong lens, uh, the rental is not very expensive. If you're completely new to photography, or even new to Micro Four Thirds, uh, the, the kit lenses that you can get with the cameras are, are really great places to start until you get a better, a better feel for what you need. So once you have some experience with the format, uh, you may start to wish you had a shorter or a longer focal length, a faster lens, a smaller lens. Um, when those situations start to occur, 
extend time to, to go ahead and make the expenditure. Now that time may be a year from now or it may be next week. Uh, it's, it's, it's different for all of us and, and our, certainly our, our, our styles and, and the things we're interested in change. So while I may be using a, a one lens uh, almost exclusively now, a year from now I may be doing something completely different and, and using a different lens for that. Uh, I guess that the, the conclusion I would I would just say that uh, that a lens that's well used is a bargain. While a lens that never leaves your camera bag is expensive, regardless of what you paid for it. Thank you.